In Tableau 2020.2, Tableau keeps on pushing forward with the explained data enhancements that they've been adding to the product each version. Today, I'm going to be covering the latest additions. So let's go ahead and build a view so we can actually check these features out. I'm going to connect to the sample superstore here. And I'm just going to wait for this to load. Now, one thing to bear in mind, if you've watched previous versions, you'll notice that this side pane is slightly different. This is because we're using the new data model. And so this side pane is structured slightly differently. But if you're using a, a similar data set, you can still follow along and work with this data set. So we're going to build a very simple view. I'm going to drag profit onto rows. Then I'm going to drag profit ratio onto columns. Then I'm going to bring product name onto detail. Okay. That gives us this chart, which has some very, very obvious outliers. In my last video, I actually specifically looked at this outlier. So it's a nice way of comparing the capability between the two versions. If I click on this dot here, you can see here that the explain uh, data icon is just right here. And so when we click on that, we get the analysis that's available to us. And that actually just renders up very quickly. In the last version, you'll see that I, I highlighted the status bar that was actually telling you which fields were being used in the analysis. And now in 2020.2, you can actually choose which fields are being used in this analysis by just clicking on this bottom option here. And you can see that I can now browse dimensions and measures and have them added or removed from the analysis. And so what it will do is it will actually use those uh, fields in the analysis itself. Now, it's made some pretty wise decisions here about what's going on because it's basically analyzed the data and it's made some guesses as to what's actually pertinent and what's not. It's looking at the level of detail, it's looking at the types of aggregation, and it's looking at the measures. For example, here, it's not included in latitude and longitude. Uh, it's not included in profit ratio because that's already on the chart, and so it can't be used in this particular analysis because that's the thing we're actually analyzing. Um, but it's made a couple of suggestions there that are, that are you know, quite sensible. You can obviously change those if you want to tweak, with, tweak it a little bit or get some more custom analysis going. The other thing to note is that it can now spot multiple extreme values. In this particular case, I still only have one extreme value, but um, if you've got multiple uh, extreme values, it can actually highlight these out. So you, you don't get just one item listed here, you actually get multiple items listed out. Okay, that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. This video is part of a much bigger playlist to look at sort of all the explained data features that have been rolled out over the last year. Check that playlist out. Otherwise, if you've liked the video, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Drop a comment below for the content you'd like to see in the future, and I'll try and get to it at some point soon.